Good morning. I'm a little confused too. Woke up in a strange place. So if you didn't catch yesterday's video, our truck is in the shop and they're waiting for a part, a simple part that's going to take a little while to get here. So until then I've been put up in this motel and uh, we're gonna try to keep ourselves busy. Nice day out. Better than what it is back home. Back home, they got snow on the ground. <laughs> I'll take it. under there before we see that's why I need the coffee. I almost started the coffee maker without the cup under there. Yikes. I'm gonna... There we go. Perfect. So yes, good morning. We are here another day. Yep. <laughs> it's not so bad. I mean look at this couch here. I can just Oh yeah, I'll sit right down here, making some coffee for myself. Diesel and I are gonna go for a walk in a bit. All right, Diesel? You wanna explore this place? It's a little chilly outside today. I wish I would've brought a warmer sweater, but whatever, we're Manitobans. We can handle it, right, Diesel? Lucky we find a, found a pet-friendly place to stay so quickly. Yeah. Actually, they're saying that the hotel industry right now is is pretty much decimated by all the lockdowns and everything. So I think they only had 10 rooms booked and it looks like they probably have like 150 rooms, probably more than that, probably close to 300 rooms here. They had like 10 rooms booked. So I had pretty much my pick of the hotel, whatever I wanted. I could have had a big master suite, but this is all I needed. It's just a nice big bed, TV, good internet access and pet friendly, so. And and cheaper, I mean. Not my fault the truck broke down and it's not my truck, so I'm not paying for the motel. But I'm not gonna go and grab the most expensive, expensive room either. I mean, that's just taking advantage of it. And I took the cheapest one. Cheapest, most comfortable one. I'm a basic kind of guy. I don't need anything fancy. So I know there's more than a few of you who've reached out to me, you want to uh, get together or you know hang out while I'm out here. 
And I'll just let you know now, you know, due to the whole uh, pandemic and stuff going on right now, it's probably best that I just hang out in my motel room as much as possible uh, by myself. Um, you know, I've I've got to go all the way back to Manitoba. I've got, I've got to go all the way to Georgia, back to Manitoba. I've been in BC. Uh, it's best that I stay, you know, self-isolated as possible. So maybe next time, maybe once this is all over and I'm out here and the truck breaks down again in the future, then we can go out for coffee, hang out a little bit. But for now, I'm just going to hang out by myself at the motel. Uh, I'm I'm okay with that. I'm more I'm a truck driver. I'm used to being alone. It doesn't scare me or it doesn't affect me much. The only thing that sort of bums me out is that uh, I'm going to be home later now. And uh Britt was talking with her mom and her sister. Maybe they're going to do their girls weekend at our house so that she can watch the dogs. I'll probably be home like mid weekend, so maybe they can do half of it at our house so that she can watch the dogs and then they can leave uh, to go where they were going to originally go the next day, like one day later or something. And then I'll be home after that to watch the dogs. But, you know, dogs are like kids. You always got to have someone to watch them. And they need special needs. Like Chevy is special needs uh, when it comes to his food. He's allergic to everything. He's very finicky. Uh, when he goes outside, he's got to go through a certain routine. Uh, Wiener and Big Frank, especially Big Frank, uh, has to have his routine when he eats his meals, otherwise he won't eat. And Diesel, well, he'll be fine. He's 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 a traveling dog. He's seen it all. He's been right close to the border with Alaska. Hasn't been in Alaska yet, but he's been to every province of Canada and uh, every territory except Nunavut. We've never been to Nunavut. I've been to. Uh, he hasn't been to every continental U.S. state yet. But he's been to a lot of them. And we haven't been to Hawaii, obviously, and Alaska. But maybe we'll go to Alaska yet. We do have loads that go up there. I'm going to requ request it one of these days in summertime uh, when I have, like, a month. Because it's like a four- to five-week endeavor to go there and, you know, have a reload, deliver that, and come home. So we'll see what happens. My coffee's ready. Yes. God does love me. Liquid life. It's the first one of the morning. I drank all my coffee in here last night. I had to go down to the front desk to ask if I could have some more. They're, they're going to get to know me pretty well, I think. <laughs> Excuse me, can I have some more coffee, please? I drank it all again. Oh, hot. And black. Whew. That's good. That's good. Wow. I'm not going to say it's like, wow, wow, but it's like, uh, wow, it's good. Oh, that hits the spot. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I've got this new game, uh, Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition or something like that. It wasn't too bad. I spent last night playing it till four in the morning. Coffee numero two. What? I wonder if I drink more coffee when I get bored. Where are we going, bud? Where are you taking us? Oh dear. Oh boy. Where are we going, ma'am? Going on an adventure, are we? Whoop! Oh, okay. Okay, keep going, bud. Keep going, I'm right behind you. Keep going. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Whew. Thanks. Diesel, why'd you go around that way? Right there, I got it. Took a shortcut. It's a long way around if we go on the road. So we figured out oh, we'll just cut through the bush. We're Manitoban bush people, we'll be fine. Yikes. 
It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Diesel just keeps getting his leash tangled up and everything. Okay, bud, why don't you let me guide? Let me guide, okay? I'll find us a good path. Okay, you walk where I walk. Okay, then we don't get all tangled up. See how much easier that is? Come on, Diesel. Gotta go exactly where I go, okay? One second, exactly where I go. We made it. Open pasture. All right, that saved a lot of time, actually. Uh, just going back to the truck to grab some stuff that I left there. Whew. Much better. So the dealership is just right up the hill there. Realized it last night that I had left my passport in the truck. And I don't like spending any amount of time that far apart from one of the most important documents I own. I mean, of course you can always get it replaced, but that doesn't happen immediately. I'd probably be stuck in New Brunswick for a couple of weeks then. And as nice as the place is around here, I'd like to go home too, you know? That's stuff to do there. This is a good excuse for a walk though. It's a little bit of a hike from the hotel, but uh, it's good for me. It's good for him too. And I don't want to pay for a taxi because I'm cheap. There she was, up on the hill. Got everything we needed, and I picked up Diesel's, uh, what do you call that thing, in a halter? So it's a little easier to walk him. Not so hard on his neck. A little more comfortable for him. Now we go back and we uh, play more computer games. Because I'm 32 years old. I need something like this. A little bit bigger though. For when we get the new property up and running. Definitely gonna have to go do some tractor shopping. These are Mahindras. Anybody know anything about this brand? Are they a good brand? That one there would be nice. Or even that one over there. I don't know if I'll need the backhoe, but the bucket would be handy. I'm sure you can get a snowblower attachment for it too. I want a cab on it though, so that we can uh, snow blow in the winter time in comfort. Because it's Manitoba and it's minus 50. That didn't work. Watch out, I'm trying to do a roll by. Watch out. Worked so good this morning, but I started from the other side. Okay, we're gonna put them this side. Watch out, Diesel. Here I come. Watch out, Diesel. You know what's gonna wanna be there. You're gonna run you over, man. Here we go. You ready? That was alright. What are you doing? Doing a roll by for the camera. Diesel, come over here. I'm trying to run you over. Let's try this again, okay? Well, that was a good one. That was a good one. You okay, man? Diesel, you wanna do a roll by? You wanna do a roll by here? Come here. Come here. All right. Come here. Come up here. Come up here. I'll hold it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Okay. Okay. Now, hold on. Hold on. It's okay. You look at the camera, man. I got you. I got you. And you ready? There you go. <laughs> Good boy. I'm gonna push you around. All right. Here we go. I got you. Woo! 
Oh, that's fun, eh? That's fun. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. One more time, one more time. Look at the camera this time. Here we go. <laughs> oh, you did good. You did good, Diesel. Was that fun? No? Okay, I tried. <laughs> so I was able to get everything I needed from the truck. The main thing was the passport. I don't want to leave that there. I don't think anything would happen to it. We're in New Brunswick. What's the worst that could happen? But then again, you never know. So I, I, I got the passport, brought it back here. It was only like a, uh, what was it? Four kilometer round trip walk, like three miles. It was good, it was the perfect length for me and Diesel. I gotta be careful with this guy though, he's getting a little older. So, uh, can't work him as hard as I used to. He used to only start settling down on our walks and running out of energy around four kilometers or three miles. Now, by the time we get to that point, he's done. He's done, it's, it's time to go lay down and have a snack. Isn't that right, Diesel? Don't worry, man. Life catches up with all of us eventually. You got a long time yet, though, buddy. You just got to start doing things a little differently, that's all. You still got a long time. I'll take good care of you. I think on the next trip, I might be leaving him at home. Uh, he's got to go to the vet when we get home. Uh, sort of like an old age check that I'd like to do. He's got a dry patch on his belly. Uh, of skin uh, that I'm kind of worried about and I want the vet to take a look at it he's also got this little mark on his eye him and Chevy were wrestling and uh, he got a little bit of a scrape under his eye here and it's taking a little longer than usual to, to heal it swelled up a little bit in the past couple of weeks and then it went back down it was almost healed and he scratched it open again and I had to clean it and I just want to give him an, an overall check you know make sure that he's he's doing all right see if he needs any any meds or anything that he should be on at this age and what kind of supplements could help him be a little more comfortable. He's already on glucosamine supplements, salmon oil, and uh, Frankie, uh, well, Wiener, the, the Wiener dog back home, Britt's dog, he's on, he has heart meds that he has to take every day with every meal or twice a day. Anyways, and that's because he has an enlarged heart and we caught that early, so it probably won't affect his lifespan at all, but you know, everybody needs a good physical every now and then just to check, make sure everything's working right. All the pipes are clear, right? That your heart's doing all right. Oh, yeah, it's the good stuff, man. Worked up a bit of an appetite on the walk, eh? Oh, yeah. Eat it all, buddy. Eat it all. See, I make it into like a little soup for him, a little porridge. He loves it. He won't eat it if it's just dry, but if you add a little bit of water in there, it just gobbles it down. I think his, uh, it hurts his mouth a little bit with the hard food, and the food needs to be softened up just a little bit, but not too soft, right? Because if you soak the food and it sits for too long and it gets all mushy, he won't eat it then either. It's gotta be freshly souped. You put the, you put the, well, lately what I've been doing is putting like a little bit of water in there first, then putting the food on top of the water, just swishing it around a bit and handing it to him. He seems to like it that way. Because I used to let it soak for about five, ten minutes or whatever, and then give it to him because I thought that he wanted it softer, but then he wouldn't touch it either. Now look at him go. Gotta find the perfect balance of soupiness. And all of our dogs are picky like this. And I know, I know, it's probably a product of us. That's, we probably encourage it a little bit. I don't know. I don't want him to, I want him to be happy. He doesn't have very long on this earth, you know? He's nine years old. He's a senior now. I'm hoping he's got another, like, six years in him yet, but, you know, he doesn't have this. I want to make him comfy, make him, make him happy, you know? Whatever he wants. I don't got any actual skin babies to spoil, so Britt and I both, we spoil our dogs a lot. I don't know, we spoil them, but at least they always get the best of everything, right? <laughs> 
Yeah, that's one reason why uh, we can't always just have anybody watch our dogs either. Because each and every one of them has a specific need. Especially Chevy. Like I've been saying, he's got all these allergies and everything. Got to make sure you don't let him have what he's not supposed to have. Or he'll have the runs for a week. Uh, and each one has a specific eating pattern. Big Frank, back home, the little big guy. He, uh, he won't eat unless if you do it just a specific way for him. He's worse than Diesel, like what I was just describing for Diesel, it's just... And they all have to go out and go to the bathroom at the right time, otherwise they won't go, and then they'll wake you up in the middle of the night. And we know our dogs very well. We're a little bit obsessive. But hey, I, I say it's better to be a little bit obsessive than a little bit negligent, right? Maybe we're a lot obsessive. Maybe. Probably. Yeah, we're pretty obsessive. We're pretty obsessed with our dogs. Yeah. What do you think, Diesel? What do you think? Got any words for the chef? Very nice, man. Very perfect level of soupiness. This one says you're going to finish the help. Okay, every last little kernel here. Oh, it's good. It's very good. Oh, yeah. Get it all, bud. I like to see you eat like that. Sometimes he doesn't eat when he's on the truck. I guess he doesn't like it when the truck's moving all the time. And uh, I don't like it when he skips a meal. You're not gonna finish? He always leaves a few kernels. You're not gonna finish? Look, there's still food in there. There's still food there, Diesel. Okay, there you go, see? He always leaves a few kernels unless I remind him. Go here for wager, man. You like it? You like it? <laughs> it's you. The old man. Give my compliments to the chef. Tomorrow will be another day at the motel here, and the next day will be another day, and the next day. Uh, they're supposed to have my truck ready Monday afternoon. They said the parts should be here by midday, and they'll get it in the shop right away, and it shouldn't take long to replace the sensor, if that's the only thing that's wrong. So, if we can get all these ducks in a proper line again and get them to stop going off track on rabbit trails, stay on the duck trail, you know, get them all in a nice little line, all nicely lined up, we should be out of here Monday afternoon. I'm going to drive into the night Monday, try to get a full day's drive in yet. So I'm going to sleep as long as I can Monday because we'll be driving late. End off probably around on this side of New York City. Because once you pass New York City, there's, it's going to be very hard to find parking late at night. So I'll, we'll have to find a place where we can park. It's going to oh, it's going to be hard to find parking. But we're driving late into the night on Monday. Tuesday, we're going to get past the congestion of New England and the Northeast U.S. We're going to get into the South, hopefully, uh, hopefully down into like Virginia area. I'm hoping uh, close to Moses and Colleen. Maybe I'll run into them. Maybe I'll be going. I don't know. That'd be cool. And. Uh, Day three, we'll be down in Georgia. That'll be a Wednesday night, I guess. And Thursday, as early as we can, as soon as the logbook lets me move the truck, we gotta go and unload. And I'm hoping that there's gonna be a trailer waiting for me near Atlanta that I can just go and do a drop and hook and book it home, and then it's another three days home from there. So... And if everything lines up perfectly, it's going to be a very busy, busy week of just hardcore trucking. What's, 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 the, what's the phrase again? Nose to the grind? That sounds like it hurts. Nose to the grindstone? I'd like to come up with a better, less painful way of saying that we're going to be working our butts off. But I have to end this today. So I'll see you here tomorrow uh, for another day in the motel here. We'll find something to do. We'll, we'll make it an adventure. See you then. Thanks for tuning in and hanging out with me today.